When you meditate, a large part of the skill is how you talk to yourself. You look at your breath, you look at your mind, and if the mind's not settling down, what do you say to yourself? How can you encourage yourself to stay with the breath? The Buddha says it's a good idea to try to gladden the mind, to give it energy. So it's willing to settle down, happy to settle down. Because if it settles down but it's not happy to be here, it's going to look for the slightest chance to get out. It's like a child in a house where the parents keep it under lock and key. As soon as it gets the opportunity to pick the lock, it's gone. Sometimes it doesn't even bother to pick the lock, it just jumps out the window and goes. So talk to yourself in a way that's encouraging, that makes you happy to be here. Happy to be engaged in meditation. Think of the fact that you've got this dharma that was founded by someone who was totally pure in his motives, who checked his attainment again and again and again to make sure it was true. Didn't just get a few ideas in his mind, then go out and put out a shingle. He'd found something of real worth, and he was happy to teach it to anybody who was ready and willing to study with him. The Dharma is good in the beginning, the middle, and the end. The Sangha has managed to maintain this for all these many centuries. So there's a lot to be glad about. The fact that you can be here sitting right now with no other concerns. Focus solely on your breath so you can understand what's going on in the mind. And you can answer that big question, why is it that we want happiness but we do so many things that lead to suffering and pain? Here's your opportunity to find out. So talk to yourself in a way that's encouraging, and learn the right things to say so that you can say them quickly and get back to work, enjoying the work, realizing it's going to be the key to unlock your, your mind, so you can find what really good things there are inside there.